Spanish Language Builder by Michelle Thomas. Copyright Michelle Thomas. Recording copyright Hodder and Stoughton Educational, a division of Hodder Headline Limited, 2001. Recording 1. Welcome to the Michelle Thomas Language Builders. If you've learned Spanish with the Michelle Thomas 8-hour course, you'll be familiar with the way Michelle teaches you to build sentences, continually reviewing what you've done and taking you on to new material. This course is an extension of his groundbreaking method. Not only will you consolidate what you've learned so far, but you'll also be learning all the extra little expressions which you hear every day in Spain and which will make your Spanish sound natural. If you have not learned Spanish with Michel, you may be a little surprised at first, since there's nothing to memorise, no vocabulary lists or grammar drills. But after a few minutes, you'll become excited by Michel's totally new approach, and you'll be speaking and understanding real Spanish painlessly and with confidence. Please do read the introduction in the accompanying booklet before you start the recordings. So now, over to Michel Thomas. Buenos dias and greetings to all of you who have been waiting for me to come back to continue with more standard Spanish. And so here I am. But before starting, I would like to remind you to use the pause button and to respond out loud before you get it on the tape on the CD. For instance, if I say, I want, then immediately use the pause button and say, quiero, yo quiero, I want. I want it, pause, and you say, lo quiero. I don't want it, pause, no lo quiero. I want to see it, pause, quiero verlo. I don't want to see it now, no quiero verlo. Ahora. I won't do it. Now here you have to think that I won't do it means I will not do it. And I will not do it. You use either I'm not going to do it, no voy a hacerlo, or no lo haré. I will not do it, I won't do it. So don't forget always to use the pause button. If you don't know it, then you will hear it, and then you can repeat it. Thank you. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be with you. So, vamos a comenzar. So, we are going to start. To start, comenzar, or empezar. So, we are going to, vamos a, we're going to start, vamos a empezar, vamos a comenzar. Or we are starting, comenzamos, empezamos. And let's start, you switch from, from A to E, empecemos, let's start, comencemos. And I like this, me gusta, it pleases me, me gusta, I like to be here. Me gusta estar aquí con ustedes, with all of you. If you want to say, I want to do it, but I won't do it today because I'm too busy to do it. Now, let me break it up and put it into different parts. So let's start again. I want to do it is pause, and then I will say it. I want to do it, quiero hacerlo. But I won't do it today. I won't do it today. Here, I want is I will not do it today. But, pero, no lo haré. I will not do it. So, lo haré, the re, re, ra, will, the endings. So, I won't do it, no lo haré, hoy, today. If you can't think of are, for I will do it, lo are, then you for, for will use going. No buyer. I'm not going to do it today. 
no voy a hacerlo hoy, because I am very busy. ¿Por qué? I am very busy. Estoy muy ocupado. Or I'm too busy. ¿Por qué? Estoy demasiado ocupado. Because I'm too busy to do it. Here, to do it implies in order to do it. Whenever to in English implies in order to, you use para. Para, which means for, but in front of a verb, it means in order to. Even if you don't use in order to in English, but whenever in English to implies in order to, in Spanish, you would use para. So, in order to do it would be para hacerlo. So, I repeat the sentence, I want to do it, but I won't do it today. Quiero hacerlo, pero no lo haré, or no voy a hacerlo hoy, because I am too busy to do it, because I'm too busy in order to do it. ¿Por qué? Estoy demasiado ocupado para hacerlo para hacerlo in order to do it. I have desire to do it. Tengo, I have. And uh, for desire would be ganas in the plural. Tengo ganas. Tengo ganas de would be I feel like I have desire or de desires to do it. Tengo ganas de hacerlo. Or, I don't feel like doing it. I don't have ganas de. No tengo ganas de hacerlo. I don't feel like going there now. No tengo ganas de ir allí there. Now, ahora. I feel like staying here. Tengo ganas de quedarme. Quedarme is to stay, to remain myself. Or you can say, I don't feel like staying here. I feel like going out. I don't feel like, again, no tengo ganas de quedarme aquí. Tengo ganas de salir. I feel like leaving. Tengo ganas de salir. So it seems to me, it's used a lot in Spanish, me parece. It appears to me. Me parece. It seems to me. It's also used very often instead of I think. I think is from pensar, pienso. Or from creer to believe. Creo. Which is used very much for I think. I believe. Creo. So creo que. I, I believe that. But you can also say it seems to me. Me parece, I think. It seems to me, me parece. It seems to me that she doesn't uh, feel like going there. Me parece que she doesn't feel like ella no tiene ganas de ir allí. I agree with you. Estoy de acuerdo. Con usted. De acuerdo is used very much for in accord, meaning agreed. I am in accord. Estoy de acuerdo is I agree. I don't agree. No estoy de acuerdo. I don't agree with you. No estoy de acuerdo con usted. So just agreed by itself, meaning okay. De acuerdo. I don't agree with him. No estoy de acuerdo con él. What is your opinion? What or which would be cuál? What is your opinion? Cuál es su opinión? Or if you talk to a friend, to Roberto or Roberta, cuál es tu opinión? Or what do you think? ¿Qué piensa? ¿Qué piensa usted? What do you think? Or, if you talk to a friend, ¿qué piensas? What do you think, Roberto? ¿Qué piensas? 
or what you all think. For you all, you hook on the end, keep the ends on. It interests me. Me interessa. It interests me. It me interests. Me interessa. It interests me a lot. Me interessa mucho. It interests me very much. Very much. Muchísimo. Me interessa muchísimo. It doesn't interest me. No me interessa. Fortunately would be, you have to think of fortune, fortuna. And fortunately, afortunadamente. And unfortunately would be, disfortunately. Desafortunadamente. Desafortunadamente. Unfortunately. So unfortunately, it doesn't interest me. Desafortunadamente. It doesn't interest me. No me interesa. I think he's going to be there this afternoon. I think. Creo. I believe. So pienso is I think, but usually you will say creo. I believe for I think. I believe that. Creo que. He is going to be there this afternoon. He is going to be there. El ba, yeah, el ba estar allí, there, this afternoon, esta tarde. So tarde means late. It is late, es tarde. It is too late, es demasiado tarde. It is too late to do it. Es demasiado tarde para hacerlo. But esta tarde would be this afternoon. So, again, I think he's going to be there this afternoon. You can either say creo, you can also say me parece que. It appears to me. Me parece que va a estar allí esta tarde. I think he's going to be here tonight. Creo que o me parece que. El va a estar aquí esta noche. But we will see. Pero veremos. We will see. Veremos. Or we are going to see. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. We'll see. It won't be possible to do it that way. It won't be possible. It will not be possible. It will be, is será. What will be, will be. Que será, será. I will be, seré. So it won't be possible. No será posible. To do it, hacerlo. That way, like that, así. It won't be possible to do it that way. No será posible hacerlo así. I don't think so. I don't believe it, actually. No lo creo. So, no lo creo could be, I don't think so, or no lo pienso. But, no lo creo actually means, I don't believe it. The word for sure is seguro, or security. Seguro. He is sure está seguro. She is sure está segura. Are you sure? Está seguro? Or if you ask a woman, está segura? Surely would be seguramente. You add mente. Of course would be claro. It's clear. Naturalmente. Naturalmente. Naturally. Claro. Clear. Of course I'm sure. Claro que estoy seguro. Of course that I'm sure. Look. To look is mirar. Look. Mira. If you talk to a friend. Look, Roberto. Mira. 
Roberto. But if you talk to Signor, Signora, Signorita, you will say, Mire. You switch from A to E. So, Mire, look. It is on the table. Está sobre la mesa. On, over, sobre. Will you put it under the table? Will you please, would be, can you? Puede. Puede ponerlo. Can you put it? Or could you put it? Could you? Is podría. Podría. Podría ponerlo. Under the table. Debajo de la mesa. Debajo. Bajo is low. Bajar to lower. Debajo de la mesa. It is necessary or one must go there. Es necesario, it is necessary, to go there. Ir allí. You can also say, for we have to go there. We have, tenemos, is we have. And we have to, tenemos que. We have to go there. Tenemos que ir allí. Hay que is one must. Hay que. So one must go there. Hay que ir allí. One must not buy it because it's very expensive. One must not buy it. You can say it is not necessary to buy it. No es necesario comprarlo. Porque is muy caro, because it's very expensive. But you can also say, no hay que. One must not. No hay que. No hay que comprarlo, porque es muy caro. I need. Necesito. I need it. Lo necesito. And I don't need it now. No lo necesito ahora. No lo necesito. Ahora. That's all I need. Es todo. It is all. Es todo. After todo, you will always say in Spanish, it is all what I need. That's all what I want. So, what in the middle of a sentence is lo que. So, that's all I need. Es todo lo que necesito. If you want to say, that is all I need. Esto, this or that, esto, this is all I need, esto es todo lo que necesito. That would be eso, without a T. Eso es todo lo que necesito. That's all I want, es todo lo que quiero, todo lo, todo lo que quiero. Is that all you want? Es todo lo que quiere? Is that all you want? Is this all you want? Esto es todo lo que quiere? Do you need uh, something else? Do you need anything else? I need, necesito, and you need, necesita. I need something. Necesito algo. Something else would be something more. Algo más. I want something more. I want something else. Quiero algo más. So do you need anything more or anything else? Necesita algo más? No, thank you. That's all. No gracias. Es todo. Or esto es todo. This is all. Will you show me? Will you? Can you? Puede. To show. Mostrar. To demonstrate. Mostrar. To show. So, can you show me? Puede mostrarme? Yes. I will show you. I'm going to show you. See? Voy a mostrarle. Or, 
a show from Mostrar. When you push down on the O, it splits into UE, and you will say Muestro. Muestro. So I'm showing it would be Lo Muestro. I show you Le Muestro. Yes, I'm showing you. Yes, I show you. So you can use, you use very much the present tense in Spanish to express the future. So I will show you. I show you. Si, le muestro. Or I'm going to show you. Well, mostrarle. Will you please tell me at what time uh, it will be ready or it is going to be ready? Will you? Can you? Puede decirme. You can also say, could you tell me? Podría decirme. Could you? Would you be able to? Podría. Podría decirme. Could you tell me? At what time it is going to be ready? A que hora? Va a estar. It is going to be va a estar ready. Listo. Or for it will be estará. So for will, the endings, re, for I will, ra, for you, he, she, it, will, ra, estará. A que hora estará listo? I will find out, would be, I'm going to inform myself, by a informarme. I need some information. Necesito información. Or necesito cierta. Information. I want certain information. Necesito cierta información. I have to find out. I have to inform myself. Tengo que, tengo que informarme. I will tell you tomorrow. I will tell you. I'm going to tell you. E voy a decirle mañana. And I'm going to tell you. Or. Y le diré, I will tell you, le diré, mañana. He will tell me, me dirá. Oh, he's going to tell me, va a decirme. I cannot see it. No puedo verlo. To be able is poder. I'm not going to be able to do it. No voy a poder, I'm not going to be able, no voy a poder, to do it, hacerlo. You can also say, for I will be able, podré, de re, for I will, he will, ra, podrá, he will be able. So, he won't be able to come with us. He won't be able, he will not be able, no podrá, to come with us, venir con nosotros, or he is not going to be able to come with us. No va a poder venir con nosotros. To look for, to search, to seek is buscar, buscar. I am looking for it. Lo busco. Or you can also say I am right now in the midst, in the process of looking for it. Lo estoy buscando. But I cannot find it. Pero no puedo encontrarlo. So to find, encontrar. To encounter, to find. Encontrarlo, to find it. Do you have something for me? Do you have? Tiene? Tiene algo para mí? No, I don't have anything. I have nothing. No, no tengo nada. I don't have, I don't have any more. Ya no tengo más. Ya means already, but in the negative it would mean no longer. Ya no tengo más is I don't have anything anymore any longer. Ya no tengo más. There's a message for you. There is or there are is I, spelled H-A-Y. 
messages, mensache. There is a message for you. I und mensache paros dead. There are messages for you. Again, there is and there are the same I. I. So there are messages. I mensaches. I mensaches paros dead. If you want to say there are some messages, some is more than uno, more than one, would be I unos mensaches paros dead. Are there messages for me? Are there? I mensaches para mi? Are there any? Or is there any message? Is there any message? I algun mensaje para mi? Yes, there are some. Si, I, again, there is or there are, and some, the plural of algun would be algunos. Si, I algunos. Yes, there are some. How much is it? Quanto es? If you want to say, how much is this? Quanto es esto? How much is that? Quanto es eso? Without the T. So, quanto es? How much is it? You can also say, how much does it cost? Quanto cuesta? You can also say, uh, which is the price? Qual? What or which is the price? Qual es el precio? Precio, the price. Qual es el precio? You can also say, how much is it worth? Quanto? Quanto vale? Vale. V-A-L-E, which is used a lot. I'll come back to it. It's not worth much, would be. No vale mucho. Then you can also say, how much do I owe you? Cuanto le debo. The verb de bear has several meanings. Debo means, actually, I must. It also can mean, I'm supposed to. Que debo hacer? What shall I do? What shall I tell him? Que debo decirle? I must leave. Debo salir. But debo, debit comes from it, is also I owe. If you say quanto le debo, would be not how much must I, but how much do I owe you. Quanto le debo. It's it's fine. It's all right. It is well. Está bien. Está bien. Está muy bien. It is, it's all right like that. Está bien, I see. I think that you will decide to do it. I think, me parece, it appears to me, me parece que, o creo que, to decide, decidir. So, he will decide, he's going to decide. Creo que, El va a decidir to do it, hacerlo. Or he will decide, el decidirá, el decidirá. So, again, I think, I believe, creo que, or me parece que. I'm going to do it immediately. Voy a hacerlo inmediatamente. Immediately, in, inmediatamente, immediately. You can also say, ahora mismo. Mismo actually means same. Lo mismo is the same. No es lo mismo, it's not the same. But ahora mismo, very now. Ahora mismo, right now. Or right away would be en seguida. So I want is quiero. I want to do it. Quiero hacerlo. 
or you can say, I would like to do it. Me gustaría, me gustaría, I would like. Me gustaría to do it, hacerlo. I want to know, quiero saber. I like, is, it pleases me, me gusta. I like to do it, me gusta hacerlo. Do you like? Does it please you, le gusta? But I would like, me gustaría. The ría at the end of, the, of any verb means would. Me gustaría, it would please me. Or I would like. I would like to know, me gustaría saber. I would like to know at what time uh, he can be here. Me gustaría saber a qué hora he can, el puede, be here, estar aquí. Or he will be able to be here. El podrá, ra, re, ra, es will. Or he would be able, would, es ría, podría. He would be able, or he could, be here. El podría estar aquí. To forget is olvidar. Olvidar, to forget, oblivion, olvidar. I won't forget to tell you. I will not forget. No olvidaré. No olvidaré. Or I'm not going to forget. No voy a olvidar. To tell you, decirle. To give it. To give is dar. To give it is darlo. To give it to you, whenever you have lelo, the two L's, that does not go too well, you will change the, the first L to an S and say darselo. So to give it to you would be darselo. Now, darselo could mean to give it to you, to give it to him, to give it to her, to give it to them, to give it to all of you. So, if you need a clarifier, you will say, I'm going to give it to you, but darselo a usted. I'm going to give it to him, but darselo a él. I'm going to give it to her, but darselo a ella. I'm going to give it to all of you, but darselo a ustedes. I feel like doing it, but I don't know if I can do it now. Again, I feel like is tengo ganas, ganas, gains. Tengo ganas de is I feel like. I feel like doing it. Tengo ganas de hacerlo. But I don't know if I can do it now. Pero no sé. I don't know, pero no sé if I can do it now. Si puedo hacerlo ahora. Again, we had before, how much is it worth? Cuanto vale, vale, V-A-L-E, vale. You use a lot in Spanish also. It is not worth the trouble. It is not worth the pain. No vale la pena. No vale la pena. Used a lot. One wants to know if it is worth the trouble doing something or to go someplace. Why bother? So, it is not worth going there. No vale la pena. Ir allí. That's it, would be. This is it. Esto es. That's it. Why not? Por qué no? We can go there if you want. Podemos, we can. Go there, ir allí. If you want, si quiere. Do you want to come with me? Do you want, quiere, to come with me, venir conmigo? Again, quiere 
is, do you want? Talking to senor, senora, senorita. But if you address a friend, let's call the friend Roberto or Roberta, you will add an S. Quieres? So, friend, do you want to come with me? Quieres venir conmigo? And if you talk to several people, quieren. You hook on an N for you all. Quieren venir conmigo? I would like to go with you. So, again, I like, it pleases me. Me gusta. I would like, it would please me. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. I would like to go with you. Me gustaría ir con usted. Or a friend contigo. Would you like to come with me? Would you like? Would it please you? Le gustaría. Le gustaría venir conmigo? Yes, certainly. I would like to. Yes, certainly. Si. Claro que si. Claro que si. It's clear that yes. Claro is also used for of course. Claro que si. Of course that yes. Of course. Or como no. Si. Como no. Como no. I would like very much. Me gustaría mucho. Or you can also say con mucho gusto, with much pleasure. That's nice of you. You can say thanks for your niceness. Gracias por su gentileza. Okay, is it okay? De acuerdo. Do you agree? Está de acuerdo? You can also say, okay, vale, vale, just by itself. I like that. I like this. This pleases me. Esto me gusta. Or, that pleases me. Esto me gusta. It's a good idea. Es una buena idea. Es una buena idea. It's a very good idea. Es una muy buena idea. You are right. You have reason. For you are right, you have reason. Reason is razón. Razón. So you have right. Tiene razón. You are quite right would be, you have all the reason. Tiene toda la razón. You are right, and I agree with you. Tiene razón. Estoy de acuerdo con usted. So, I like to do it. Me gusta hacerlo. I like to stay here. Me gusta quedarme to remain myself a key because I'm tired porque estoy cansado I like to rest so cansado means tired and to rest to take a rest would be to distire so I like to rest would be me gusta descansar to distire myself. So I'm going to rest would be by a descansar. I'm going to rest a little. By a descansar un poco. By a descansar for a little while. Un rato. Because I'm very tired. Porque estoy muy cansado. So you want to ask now, is it worth the trouble going to see it tonight? So, does it, is it worth the trouble? Is it worth the pain? Vale la pena? 
vale la pena to go see it, ir a verlo tonight, esta noche. It's not worth going there. No vale la pena ir allí. It's incredible. Es increíble. Es increíble. I don't believe it. No lo creo. No lo creo. It's incredible what you're telling me. Es increíble. Es increíble. What you're telling me, lo que me dice. Or, if you're talking to Roberto, to Roberto, to a friend, lo que me dices. If you're talking to several people, but you're all telling me, lo que me dicen. Oh, it is magnificent. It is great. Es magnifico. Es extraordinario. Extraordinary. Extraordinario. It is excellent. 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 This is very interesting. Esto es muy interesante. It interests me. Me interesa. Me interesa. It interests me. Me interesa mucho. It interests me very much. It interests me very much to see it. Me interesa mucho verlo. I am interested. Interested. Interesado. I am very interested. Estoy muy interesado. I am very interested. Once more, estoy muy interesado. It interests me very much to go and see it. Me interesa mucho, or very, very much, muchísimo, to go and see it, ir a verlo. She's very charming, very lovely, very nice. Ella es encantadora, enchanting, charming, encantadora. I like very much to have it. Me gusta, I like, it pleases me. Me gusta mucho, I like much, very much. Me gusta mucho to have it, tenerlo. To see it, verlo. To go there with you. Me gusta mucho, I like very much. To go there with you, ir allí con usted. I'm sorry. I feel very badly about it. Lo siento. But I'm sorry to tell you, but you just siento decirle. Siento decirle. I'm sorry to tell you that um, I cannot go see it with you tonight because I'm very busy. So I'm sorry to tell you Siento decirle that I cannot go, que no puedo ir a verlo, go to. Always after coming and going, you use a, which you pull in, ira, go to see it, ira verlo. With you tonight, con usted, or with you, friend, contigo, esta noche, tonight. So I cannot go, no puedo ir. I would not be able to go. The wood of poder is podría. So I would not be able to go, or I could not go. No podría ir a verlo con usted o contigo esta noche. Because I am very busy, porque estoy muy ocupado. Or I will be very busy. I will be. From estar, estaré. Or I'm going to be, voy a estar, muy ocupado. 
I have to do it would be tengo que hacerlo. I um, would have to. From tener would be tendría. I would have. I would have it. Again, the ría means would. So tendría, I would have. I would have it for you. Lo tendría para usted. He would have it. The same. Lo tendría. They would have it. Lo tendrían. And your Roberto friend would have it. Lo tendrías. And of course, for we, you add the mos. Lo tendríamos. We would have it. So again, I have tengo. But I have to. I have to do it. Tengo que. I have to do it. Tengo que hacerlo. I would have. Tendría. But I would have to do it. Tendría que. Tendría que hacerlo. He has to do it. Tiene que. Tiene. He has. Tiene que. He has to. Tiene que hacerlo. He has to do it. He would have to do it. Tendría que. Tendría que hacerlo. We would have to go there. Tendríamos que. Tendríamos que. We would have to. Tendríamos que. To go there. Ir allí. The would have to is also used for should or ought to. So you should tell me would be you would have to tell me tendría que decirme. Instead of tengo que debo. Debo, which I gave you before, also for I shall. Que debo hacer? What shall I do? And also for I owe. Quanto le debo? How much do I owe you? The verb is deber. And I would have to of deber would be deberia. Again, deria for would. So deberia. And the would have to, the beria, like tendría que, is used very much for should. So I should do it. The beria hacerlo. You should tell me. The beria or the berias, or if you talk to several people, the berian, to tell me. The berian decirme. You should come with me. The beria venir conmigo. You should wait for me. Deberia or Deberias, if it is a friend, Deberias, wait for me, is to await me, esperarme. Deberia, Deberias, or Deberian, if you're talking to a couple or several people, Deberian, esperarme, wait for me. So I like very much to travel, so it pleases me very much, me gusta mucho. To travel, viajar, viajar, spelled V-I-A-J-A-R, viajar. You can also say, me encanta, it enchants me, for I like. Me encanta, I like very much. Me encanta viajar, or me gusta, me gusta mucho viajar. I think I'm going on vacation. On vacation would be de vacaciones. On vacation, de vacaciones. So, I think I'm going on vacation. I think, I believe that, creo que, creo que, boy, de vacaciones. Or you can also say, me boy, I'm going myself away on vacation. Creo que me voy de vacaciones. First to Spain, and then to Italy. Primero, a España. And then, y luego, o later, más tarde, a Italia.
to Italy. I would like to see him, or I would like to see you, me gusteria, barely. I would like to go see him, me gusteria, ira barely. I think I'm going to leave soon, because I cannot wait. Again, I think, creo que, I'm going to leave, voy a salir, pronto, soon, pronto, because I cannot wait. Porque no puedo esperar. When do you think you're going to leave? Cuando, when, when do you believe, cuando cree, that you're going to leave, que va salir, que va salir. I plan on leaving soon. I plan is I think to. So to think is pensar. Pensar is also used for planning. I plan on leaving soon would be I think to leave soon. Pienso, I think. Pensar, you push down on the E, it splits into IE. Pienso. So I think to leave soon, pienso salir pronto. So, when do you think on leaving, when do you plan on leaving, is cuando piensa salir. Cuando piensa salir. I expect to leave soon. For I expect, you can use, I hope to. I hope is the same as to wait, esperar. Espero. Espero salir pronto. So, how long do you plan on staying in uh, Madrid? How long, how much time, cuánto tiempo do you plan on staying? Piensa, do you plan, do you think, to stay? Cuánto tiempo piensa quedarse? To remain yourself, quedarse. Cuánto tiempo piensa quedarse en Madrid? En Madrid. I plan on staying in Madrid uh, one week. Pienso quedarme, or I expect. I expect to stay, as I hope to stay. Espero quedarme. Una semana, one week, in Spain, in España. Let's go back to, I feel like. I have ganas de. Tengo ganas de. I feel like going to the movies. I feel like going to the cinema. Tengo ganas de to go ir. Tengo ganas de ir al cine. Tonight, esta noche, to see an interesting picture, an interesting film. To see, again, to here implies in English, in order to see. Para ver. A picture, a film is película. So, uh, a picture would be una película. An interesting picture, una película interesante. So once more, I feel like going to the cinema to see a uh, very interesting picture. I feel like going to the cinema, to the movies. Tengo ganas de ir al cine. Tonight, esta noche. To see. In order to see Parabere, a very interesting film, a very interesting picture, una película muy interesante. She doesn't feel like going there tonight, perhaps tomorrow. She doesn't feel like ella no tiene ganas de ir to go. No tiene ganas de ir 
to go there, the Irayi, or to go see it, to go and see it, the Ir Aberlo, tonight, esta noche, perhaps tomorrow, quizás, quizás mañana. I plan on going next week. I plan on leaving next week. Again, I plan, pienso, I think, to leave. Pienso salir. You can also say, to go myself away. Pienso irme. So, pienso salir, pienso irme. To go myself away, pienso irme. Next week is la semana que viene. The week that comes is next week. La semana que viene. The month would be el mes. Next month would be el mes que viene, the month that comes. Or in two weeks. O is or. Or in dos semanas. In dos semanas, in two weeks. I want to have it. I want, quiero. I want to have it. Quiero tenerlo. I'm going to buy it. Voy a comprarlo. I'm not going to buy it because it's too expensive. No voy a comprarlo porque es demasiado caro. Or because it's very expensive porque es muy caro. I don't plan on buying it. You will use, I don't think to buy it. No pienso. Pienso, pensar, is used very much for planning, thinking, to do something. And esperar, which is to hope, espero, I hope, esperar, to hope and to wait, but it's also used for to expect to do something. I'll come back to it. I don't plan on buying it. I don't uh, think to buy it. No pienso comprarlo. I'm not going to buy it. No voy a comprarlo. No voy a comprarlo because it's very expensive, porque es muy caro. I don't intend to buy it. I don't have intention of buying it. No tengo la intención. Intención de comprarlo. So, intención, intention, in uh, Madrid, pronounced intención. Intención or intención. Many hundreds of words in English, ending in I-O-N, are the same in Spanish. All words ending in T-I-O-N in uh, English and in C-I-O-N, because that's how you pronounce it in Spanish. So, uh, condición, but in Spain, Castilian Spanish, it's just primarily with a C before E and I, which is pronounced like a TH. So, condition, condición, there's a difference between the Castilian Spanish and the rest of standard Spanish, which we are using here. So, condición in Madrid, or condición otherwise in Latin America, or also in some parts of Spain. So, Barcelona, but in uh, Castilian Spanish, Barcelona. Slight difference in pronunciation of the, of the C. Again, all the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of words in English uh, ending T-I-U-N will end in C-I-U-N in Spanish. They're the same. So, um, the reservation, la reservación, la reservación. So, I have a reservation, tengo una reservación. Do you have the confirmation of the reservation? Tiene la confirmación, o la confirmación de la reservación, o de la reservación in Spain. I don't intend to do it. I don't have intention of doing it. 
no tengo la intención de hacerlo. Ahora en Castilian Spanish no tengo la intención de hacerlo. Slight difference in pronunciation here with the C. So I, um, I plan on going there with you. Pienso, pienso ir allí con usted. Or I expect to go there. Espero ir allí con usted. I'm going to take it. Voy a tomarlo. It will be uh, ready soon. It is going to be ready soon. Va, va a estar listo, pronto. What time will you be here? A qué hora? A qué hora? At what hour? A qué hora? Va a estar aquí. Are you going to be here? I don't have time to do it. No tengo tiempo de hacerlo. No tengo tiempo de hacerlo. He doesn't have time to do it. No tiene tiempo de hacerlo. And we don't have time to do it. No tenemos tiempo de hacerlo. How much time do you have? Cuánto tiempo tiene? I don't know uh, when it will be ready. No sé cuándo it will be, or it is going to be ready, pa estar listo, or it will be, estará listo. No sé cuándo estará listo. I think it will be ready soon. Creo que, I believe that, creo que estará listo pronto. Or, instead of creo que, you can also say, me parece que, it appears to me, it seems to me, me parece que, it is going to be ready soon, va a estar listo pronto. To open is abrir. I open, I'm opening, abro. If you want to say, uh, shall I open the window, for instance, you can say, debo, from deber, I must, I shall, debo abrir la ventana, but mostly, actually, in Spanish, you will say, do I open the window? You just ask a question, you use inflection to a question. Abro la ventana? Do I open the window? That means, shall I open the window? To close is cerrar. Cerrar. C-E-R-R-A-R. -R -R -R, to close. I close. You push down on the E, and it splits into I-E, and you have cierro. Cierro is I'm closing. I'm closing the door. Cierro la puerta. But if you want to say, shall I close the door? You just use the question. Cierro la puerta? Shall I close the window? Cierro la ventana? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Le espero. Le espero. Shall I wait for you? Le espero. Do I wait for you? Shall I wait for you? Le espero. Shall I go with you? Shall I... Come with you? You will just say, shall I accompany you? I accompany is accompagno. To accompany is accompagnar. So, shall I come with you? Shall I go with you? Le accompagno. Le accompagno. Of course, you can also say, shall I go with you? Boy con usted? Boy. Or shall I come with you? Bango, I come. Bango con usted. But shall I accompany you? Le acompaño. Shall I call you later? I call you. Le llamo. Le llamo. I call you later. Le llamo más tarde. Would be, I call you later. 
He used the present tense also for the future here. Le llam más tarde. I call you later. I will call you tomorrow. You can say, I call you tomorrow. It's correct Spanish to use the present tense to express the future. Le llamo mañana. I call you tomorrow. In correct English, but correct Spanish. Le llamo mañana. Or, by llamarle. I'm going to call you later. Or, le llamaré. I will call you tomorrow. You have three ways to express the future here. If you want to say, shall I call you later? He used the same sentence and to turn it into a question. Le llamo más tarde. Shall I call you later? We are leaving would be salimos. Shall we leave? Salimos? If you want to say, um, we are going to do it, would be vamos a hacerlo. What are we going to do? Que vamos a hacer. What shall we do, would be, que vamos a hacer? I know that he uh, won't be able to do it. So, se, yo sé, that he's not going to be able to do it, que no va poder, to be able, poder, he's not going to be able, que no va poder hacerlo, or hacerlo. I'm going to do it, voy a hacerlo. He's going to do it, va a hacerlo. And we are going to do it, vamos a hacerlo. I have to do it, tengo que hacerlo. He has to do it, tiene que hacerlo. I must go and see it. Tengo que ir a verlo. I'm going to go to see it. I will go to see it. Voy a ir a verlo. I was going is Iba. I am going boy, boya, I'm going to. But I was going to. Not am going, but was going to is Iba from ir to go. Iba, Iba, ah, but you contracted to Iba. I was going to. But spelled I B A and A. Is in two words, but in speaking, you contract it to Iba. He was going to Iba. She was going to Iba. You were going to Iba. It's the same. Except for you, Roberto, friend, Ibas, Ibasa. And you all were going to Iban, Ibana. But I was going to, he was going to, you were going to Iba. I was going to do it. Iba a hacerlo. He wasn't going to do it. No iba a hacerlo. I uh, wasn't going to tell you that I was going to do it for you. I was not going to. No iba a decirle. I was not going to tell you. No iba a decirle that I was going to do it for you. Que iba a hacerlo para usted. I was going to buy it. Iba a comprarlo. We have to make a distinction between I am going to, boya, and I was going to, iba. I was not going to find it. No iba, encontrarlo, encounter it. He was going to be here this morning. El iba estar aquí esta mañana, esta mañana this morning. But I was not going to wait. No iba esperar. I was not going to wait for you. I was not going to await you. No iba esperarle. I uh, know. Yes, sé. I know it. Lo sé. I don't know it. No lo sé. One exception for I where you don't have an, an O for I. So, sé, and no lo sé, I don't know. So, I don't know where it is. No sé dónde está. I cannot find it. No puedo encontrarlo. Can you tell me where it is? Puede decirme dónde está. Could you 
Could you, would you be able to? Podria, podria decirme, donde esta? I have to know it. Tengo que, I have to. Tengo que saberlo. So to know, saber, you know, sabe. You know, he knows, she knows, sabe. What do you know? Que sabe? Do you know it? Lo sabe? Why don't you know it? Por qué no lo sabe? You're talking to a friend, to Roberto. You add an S. Por qué no lo sabes? Why don't you know it? You're talking to a couple, to several people. Instead of the S, you add an N. Por qué no lo saben? Nobody knows it. Nadie. Nadie, nobody. Nada is nothing. Nobody, nadie. Nobody knows it. Nobody knows where it is. Nadie sabe dónde está. Nobody can find it. Nadie puede encontrarlo. Now, I knew is sabía. So saber to know, but sabía is I knew. I knew it. Lo sabía. I didn't know it. No lo sabía. He knew. Same. Sabía. I knew. He knew. She knew. You knew. Sabía. Of course, you friend knew. You had an S. Sabías. And for you all knew. Sabían. Or they knew. Sabían. So again, I was going is Iba. I was going to Iba, but I knew Sabia, Sabia. I didn't know no Sabia. I didn't know that you were going to be here today. No Sabia, I didn't know. I knew not no Sabia that you were going que usted iba or just que iba to be here estar aquí. No sabía que iba a estar aquí. I was not going to tell you that I was going to buy it for you. I was not going. No iba decirle that I was going to buy it. Que iba a comprarlo. For you, para usted. I didn't know that you were going to arrive today. No sabía que you were going to Iba to arrive as Yegar, Yegar, spelled double L E G A R, Yegar. So I didn't know that you were going to arrive today. No sabía que iba a llegar hoy. I knew that everything was going to be ready. Sabía, I knew that everything, que todo, was going to be, iba, to be ready, está listo. So, sabía, or yo sabía, you may throw in yo for I, because sabía means I knew, he knew, she knew, you knew. If you need a clarifier, you throw in yo. Yo sabía, that everything was going to be ready, que todo, iba, está listo. I know that I will never be able to do it that way. Sé, or yo sé, that never que nunca, nunca, never, I will be able, or I'm going to be able to do it that way, voy a poder, to do it hacerlo así. So I'm going to be able, voy a poder, or I will be able, podré, re, for I will be. Or I would be, for would is ria. Podría hacerlo. I would be able to do it. I see. 